Hello, I'm Braden Morris with AMOC Controls, and today we're going to cover what is diesel engine runaway and how this dangerous scenario occurs. To start off, why don't we take a quick look at a video that shows a diesel engine in a runaway scenario. So how does something like this occur? It's important to understand how a diesel engine operates. A diesel engine draws in clean air from the environment through the air intake system. This clean air then enters into the combustion chamber. It mixes with fuel and through the high heat that occurs from the compression cycle, it ignites the air fuel mixture. In order to govern the speed of a diesel engine, the amount of fuel entering into the combustion chamber is regulated. If there is more fuel that enters into the combustion chamber, the higher the speeds are that the engine can obtain. If we desire to cut the engine or kill the engine, we must either do it by one or two means. We can either remove the fuel supply or we can remove the air supply to the engine. So this brings us to how a diesel engine can run away. Many diesel engines are found in hazardous environments. These hazardous environments can have stray hydrocarbons or vapors that exist in the environment around the engine. As the engine ingests these stray hydrocarbons through the air intake system, it can start to overspeed. The diesel engine can ingest them and then begin to run off of them as a secondary fuel source. As the diesel engine starts to run off these secondary fuel sources, it begins to overspeed. The governor then tries to compensate for this overspeeding, but in scenarios where there's enough vapor, the engine can run off of that alone. If this is not stopped immediately, the engine can begin to overspeed, the valves of the engine will begin to bounce, and flames will escape through the intake manifold, igniting the surrounding vapors. Once a diesel engine starts to run away, turning off a key or cutting the fuel supply will not work. The only surefire way to kill the engine is to remove the air supply going to it, and in turn, removing the flammable vapors that can enter into the engine. In order to learn more about diesel engine safety, Visit our website, amot.com, or follow us on LinkedIn. And until then, be safe.